In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. And with your spirit. Good morning. Good morning, Father. And welcome to the fifth day of our Misa de Galayul uh, this morning. Today we celebrate what used to be known as the Golden Mass, which is Advent commemorates the Annunciation and the actual start of the life of Jesus, God incarnate. Let us pray in this Eucharist that our devotion to Mary may proceed from true faith by which we are led to know the excellence of the Mother of God and are moved to filial love toward our Mother and to the imitation of her virtues. Brothers and sisters, Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, eternal majesty, whose ineffable word the Immaculate Virgin received through the message of an angel, and so became the dwelling place of divinity, filled with the lights of the Holy Spirit, grant, we pray, that by her example we may in humility hold fast to your will. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Isaiah with Ahaz, that is a sign of God's concern. For his people, a son who will be called Emmanuel will be born. This prophecy is perfectly fulfilled in Jesus, who is God with us in the truest sense of the word. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord spoke to Ahaz, asked for a sign from the Lord your God. Let it be deep as the nether world or high as the sky. But Ahaz answered, I will not ask, I will not tempt the Lord. Then Isaiah said, listen, 
O house of David, is it not enough for you to weary men? Must you also weary my God? Therefore, the Lord himself will give you this sign. The virgin shall conceive and bear a son and shall name him Emmanuel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. are the earth and its fullness, the world and those who dwell in it. For he founded it upon the seas and established it upon the rivers. Who can ascend the mountain of the Lord? or who may stand in his holy place. He whose hands are sinless, whose heart is clean, who desires not what is vain. He shall receive a blessing from the Lord, a reward from God his Savior. Such is the race that seeks for him, that seeks the face of the God of Jacob. Let the Lord his Please stand. of David, opening the gates of God's eternal kingdom, come and free the prisoners of darkness. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her, he said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at what was said and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give him the throne of David, his father, and he will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I have no relations with a man? 
And the angel said to her in reply, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age. And this is the sixth month for her who was called barren, for nothing will be impossible for God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Merong dalawang makapangyarihan na tao at nag-usap. Sabi nila, sige, patunayan natin kung sino yung may kapangyarihan at mas higit sa kapangyarihan ng challenge. Magparamihan sila ng mga miyembro Magparamihan sila ng mga tao. Kaya, isang araw upang mabilis ang kanilang paglalakbay, hindi sila naglakad. Sumakay sila sa motor. Magdaging rider sila upang mabilis. Walang traffic. At sa bawat beer house na kanilang madaanan, Sinabi ng isa, Alam mo, ang lahat ng tao dyan sa loob, akin. Mga miyembro ko yan. Mga sakop ko yan. Tahibik lang yung kasama. Sabi naman, Sige, tuloy ang ating paglalakbay. Nung makadaan sila sa chapel, at maraming tao din sa loob. Sabi naman ang isa, alam mo, ang lahat-lahat ng tao dyan, akin, nagdadasal. Nagdadasal sila. Nanalangin. At nakiisa. Kaya sigurado ako, akin, yung mga nasa loob na yan. Hanggang makarating sila sa manawag, Pagkakita nila na punong-puno ng tao ang manawag hanggang sa labas, sabi nila, tingnan natin kung kanino ba yung mga tao sa loob ng basilika ng manawag. Sabi ni ng isa, siyempre, akin yan. Tinawag sila na mahal na ina ni Apo Bakat. Akin yan dahil nagrosaryo sila, nagdarasal sila. Sabi ng kasama, sigurado ka? Lahat ba nasa loob ng basilika ng simbahan sa iyo? Tingnan natin. Nakita mo ba yung mga natutulog? Akin yan. Sabi ni Taning, akin yan, ang mga natutulog, hindi nagdarasal yan. Kaya mga kapatid, huwag tayong matulog dahil sa araw na ito, binibilang tayo kung anong ginagawa natin. Sa araw na ito, magpasalamat tayo sa Diyos at dahil ang kanyang salita ay naging tao sa ating ibanghilyo sa araw na ito nagpakita ang isang hanghil 
kay Maria, yung pinili ng Diyos na maging ina ng kanyang anak at pinaalam sa kanya na siya ay maging ina ng anak ng Diyos. Nagulat siyempre si Maria. Hindi siya rin makapaniwala. Bakit hindi siya makapaniwala? Dahil sabi niya, I have no religions to any man. To any man. Kaya lang, pinatunayan ng angel, sinabi niya yung nangyari kagabi o kahapon, nung nagpakita din siya kay si Karaya at sabihin kay si Karaya ng kanyang asawa na matanda na si Elizabeth ay mabubuntis. Magkaroon din ng anak. Magkaroon ng anak. Kasi sa Diyos walang imposible. Namang ha si Maria. Wala na siyang masasabi. Wala na siyang argument. Of course, may takot siya. Kasi mahirap yung mabubuntis na walang asawa. Kamatayan ang hatol sa panahon ng ating Panginoon, sa panahon ni Maria. Dahil sa kanyang paniniwala sa minsahe ng Angge, dahil sa kanyang paniniwala na ito ay kagagawa ng Diyos, Mary answered, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. At sa sagot ni Maria, The Word was made flesh and dwelt among us. The Word was made flesh and dwelt among us. Mga kapatid, sa ating pananampalataya, naniniwala tayo na tayo ay kabahagi part ng katawan ni Kristo. Tayong simbahan ay naniniwala na mga anak ni Maria. At dahil tayo ay kabahagi ng katawan ni Kristo, at mga anak ni Maria, tayo ay miyembro ng tahanan ng Diyos. Kaya, siguro, sa ating pananampalataya, buhayin natin ang salita ni Maria Behold the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Patunayan natin na tayo ay mga anak ni Maria. Na sa ating buhay, hindi lamang natin napakinggan, narinig ang salita ng Diyos. Ngunit, We allow the Word of God to dwell within us, in our life. To allow ourselves to practice the good news, the teachings of Jesus in our life. To apply the Word of God in our life. I think that is a total membership 
of ours in the church when we made flesh what the word that we heard from the teaching of Jesus in our life. Kaya nga, magandang balita eh. Kasi mayroong pagbabago sa bawat isa sa atin. Kung katulad ni Maria na tayo ay naniniwala ng salita ng anghel ay nanggaling sa Diyos at kung tayo naman ay nananiwala na si Maria ay ating ina at si Kristo ang siyang ulo ng ating katawan, then, dapat isa buhay natin ang mga salita ng Diyos na ating naririnig. Ang in that way like Mary, the Word became flesh in us, in our life. Di ba maganda yun? Di ba maganda na sa ating pagbabago, nagbago tayo dahil sa Diyos. Dahil sa salita ng Diyos. At doon, maging kasama natin ang Diyos sa ating buhay. Sa ikalimang araw ng ating pagdiriwang, ng Misa di Galio sa ating mga sakripisyo sa ating paggising ng maaga sa ating transportation paglalakbay sa umagang ito let us make this day a good news to our life na matanggap natin ang salita ng Diyos na naging tao dahil sa atin, dahil sa ating buhay. And in that way, I think this is a good Christmas for us. Nang Diyos mismo naging tao sa ating pagkatao dahil atin sinunod ang kanyang salita sa buhay natin. Kaya patunayan natin, patunayan natin na mayroong pagbabago sa buhay natin sa pagtanggap natin sa salita ng Diyos na tayo ay kabahagi ng buhay ng ating Panginoon, ng buhay ng Diyos. pag natin sa bahay, sikapin natin na batiin yung mga tao na naiwan sa bahay. Pagdating natin sa ating mga reunion, sikapin natin na mag-usap-usap na maganda. Huwag mo na mag-away Let the Word be made flesh in us. And that Word that made flesh is a loving Word, is a forgiving Word. Yung salita ng Diyos na naging tao, na nagmamahal at nag papatawad. Pag nagawa natin yan, that would be a good news. Kasi masaya ang lahat. That would be a golden moment in our life when God dwells within us. Like Mary, Let us make ourselves available. Let us give life to the Word of God through our very own witnessing in our life. Please all stand.
Let us pray to the Father that we may be able to follow the example of Mary, who is humble, full of faith, and always ready to do the Lord's will. Full of confidence, we pray. Listen to the prayer of your people, Lord. Listen to the prayer of your people, Lord. May Pope Francis, bishops, priests, and deacons guide and assist us in witnessing to our faith in Christ by their inspiring words and exemplary lives. We pray. May those who work in government see their office as a public trust and may their decisions be the peace and well-being of our people. We pray. Listen to the prayer of your people, Lord. May the consecrated men and women, by living faithfully their vows of poverty, chastity, and obedience, be true witnesses of the priority of God in life. We pray. Listen to the prayer of your people, Lord. May the Lord guide and protect migrant Filipinos and seafarers and fill them with consolation, especially this Christmas and the coming New Year. We pray. Listen to the prayer of your people, Lord. Like Mary, may young people be firm in their faith, generous in their love, and steadfast in their hope. We pray. Listen to the prayer of your people, Lord. Let us pray for the urgent concerns, for the intentions of the intentions of the, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, and for our personal intentions. We pray. Listen to the prayer of your people, Lord. Father, your eternal word took flesh on earth when the Virgin Mary placed her life at the service of your plan. May we follow her example in preparing for the coming of Jesus, your Son, and our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated.
Pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Look, Lord, we pray upon the one sacrifice of your Son, that by part participating in this mystery, we may possess at last the gifts we have awaited, and for which our faith bids us hope. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly really right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For all the oracles to the prophets foretold him, the Virgin Mother loomed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity so that he may find us what's full in prayer and exultant in his praise. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of holiness. You have created right, gi rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and the working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said a blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out 
for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate a memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May make us an everlasting offering to you so that we may obtain an, inherit an inheritance with your elect especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and the glorious martyrs, with our Holy Father, St. Dominic, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, your servant Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Bishop, Fidelis, his assistant, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you give gain for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion of merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There, we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory to Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Sibir's command informed by divine teaching, we dare to say,
Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we might be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I left you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer its other the sign of peace. peace. Behold Jesus, the Word made flesh and dwelt among us, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say, say the, the word, word and, my and my soul shall, shall be healed. Paalaala po sa lahat, sa inyong pagtanggap ng komunyon, pakibaba na po ang face mask. Kapag sinabi sa inyo ang body of Christ, tanggapin ng inyong dalawang kamay ang hostya at sumagot ng amin. At isubo na agad ang hostya upang maiwasan po ang pagkahulog nito. Salamat po.
Please all stand. Let us pray. Grant divine protection, O Lord, to those who renew with this heavenly gift, that to those who delight in your mysteries, you may give the joy of true peace. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong pakikisa sa ating Eucharistia sa umagang ito. Patuloy tayo sa ating mga pagdarasal na sana po maging uh, laman at ang natin, ang uh, salita ng Diyos upang may sabuhay natin ito sa araw-araw na binigay ng Diyos sa atin. So be safe. Let us uh, celebrate Christmas with good health. Kaya ingat po tayo. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. May the almighty and merciful God, by whose grace you have placed your faith in the first coming of His only begotten Son and yearn for His coming again, sanctify you by the radiance of Christ's advent and enrich you with his blessing. Amen. As you render us in this present life, may he make you firm in faith, joyful in hope, and active in charity. Amen. So that rejoicing now, with devotion, all the Redeemer's coming in the flesh, you may be endowed with the rich reward of eternal life when he comes again in majesty. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. We will now have the blessing of our sick brothers and sisters. Kindly remember in silence the names of your loved ones who are sick at home or in the hospital. We will also bless your religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. Let us pray. 
God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty, to be kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters, free them from all illness, and restore them to good health through the intercession of our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. For your religious articles, in memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may all these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. 